Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad, and welcome back to another beautiful day on the Goober Nation gun range. Today, we're going to look at um, an interesting topic for me. It's whether technology can trump tradition. So I've got two bullets we're going to take a look at. One of them has a newfangled um, little trick up its sleeve, and the other one is just that old stodgy hollow point that we've all known and grown to love. Can the new technology beat the hollow point? Let's find out. These are the two rounds we're going to be looking at. On one side, we have got the good old CCI Mini Mag. This is the hollow point. And on the other side, we've got the CCI Mini Mag, but it has a fancy segmenting bullet. Now, these are not completely equal rounds outside of the technology. If you look at our CCI here, it is going to be a 36 grain bullet and it's going about 1260 rated from the manufacturer. On the other side, we've got our a, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, segmented round. It's a little bit heavier at 40 grains and it's a little bit slower at 1235. I'm kind of curious to see how that measures out when we do our actual shooting. So I will do some chrono and accuracy testing at the end of the video, but I think the thing that we would like to see first and most importantly is how do our two rounds handle the small game simulator? It's a can of dog food. It's got a tough skin. It's got a meaty interior, very similar size, and I think ballistic properties to most small game you'll find out in the wild. So does the new tech beat the traditional tech? I'm gonna shoot this first, we'll find out, and then we'll do all the boring stuff at the end. We have got our small game simulator set up at 25 yards, which I gotta say, I think is probably a good range for most small game. Right there out on our table, we're gonna load up one round of the traditional mini mag, do a little bit of age before beauty here. We're using the Keystone Arms Overlander as our rifle today. It's been pretty good to me so far. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and shoot. So here we go with the traditional mini mag on our lovely little can of dog food. Oh, wow. Well, you know what he does real good. Uh, that mini mag makes those cans jump real high in the air. Okay, got a, another can of the old gravy train on the table. Let's load up the, uh, the new hotness, the new high-tech round, the Mini Mag segmenting hollow point. And uh, we're gonna check out the difference here. See if this new technology is any better than the old stuff. All right, here we go, Mr. Dog Food. Okay, so still a very respectable little hop. I gotta say, I think the, uh, the uh, regular old hollow point sent it a little bit higher. Let's take a look at that close-up damage on these cans here. First up is going to be the regular old hollow point mini mag. We've got a very neat 22 caliber entrance. And then on the back, a good bit of damage. We peeled back that uh, <laughs> metal skin a good bit. You can tell there's probably some expansion going through there. It blew a big hole, obviously way bigger than our entrance. So not bad at all. That would certainly put down any kind of small game, no problem. As for our segmenting hollow point, is there any difference? Let's find out. So, entrance. We can already see a good amount of difference. We have split this can from top to bottom on our entrance. That's way different than the standard Mini Mag. On the back side, the damage is, um, it's interesting. I don't know if uh, this is hugely different. Well, I mean, it is. It, there's a good bit of damage there. I think it's pretty close. 
uh, but I think the segmenter definitely did more damage. I can see on the top there where it looks like a segmented piece tried to get through, didn't make it. Let's see if we can see anything on the bottom now. I don't see anything on the bottom, but I think it's definitely possible. It looks like there might be a couple of spots where that segmenting around uh, threw a piece through the back of this can. We can also see that the can is a good bit deformed. I want to take a look at that top, and then just looking at it, you can see that we did enough damage here to really deform the actual metal can. Whereas here is the regular hollow point. We don't really see the amount of damage there. Let me pull these up real quick, just so you can see them side to side. The segmented on this side and the regular mini mag on this side. And actually looking at them side by side, I mean, I don't think there's any question that the segmenter is doing a good bit more damage than our standard mini mag. For you guys who are here for some nerd stuff, let's talk numbers. So I shot two five round groups at 50 yards one group with each type of ammo. And uh, here are the results with our tried and true old mini mag. We're sitting up here at about a two inch group. Our point of aim was right in the middle and we seem to be sitting elevation wise and windage wise pretty much right where we need to be. It's just that our, our group is uh, quite large. So almost two inch group, not that great. How did the segmented ammo do? Well, here we are with our segmented group. Ignore all this stuff. Here's our five shots, and we were aiming right here where the arrow comes into that rectangle. And interesting thing, you can see that this group sits a little bit lower than our standard mini mag. So the segmented is shooting a little bit lower than standard mini mag, but again, it is centered around that uh, aim point. So we do have good windage. It is dispersed properly windage wise, but elevation just a smidge low. And again, not that great of a group. This one came in at about uh, just over an inch and a half compared to our almost two inch group with our mini mag. So accuracy is uh, not that great. I'm sure for your hunting needs, it would be just fine. Precision, shoot, precision shooting though, I don't think it would cut the mustard. Let's talk about our velocity. So we're gonna start with the mini mag and our average velocity with the mini mag right there was that 13, 36 feet per second compared to our box, which says 1260. So it is shooting a little bit hotter than what the uh, box claims. And let's go back to our segmented. Segmented average over five shots was that 1,210 compared to 1,235 claimed for the segmented rounds. So <laughs> it's interesting to me, the uh, mini mag is shooting faster. It has more velocity than um, this segmented by a significant margin, over 10%, I think, if I have done my math right. But um, without a doubt, the segmented ammo is doing way more damage. So in this case, we can see that the, the new technology, the, the fancy segmented round will hit harder and do more damage, even though it is a slower round. There's one other benefit, I'm sure there's a couple more benefits, but one other main benefit I can see to using the segmented um, if you're going to be doing some hunting, uh, and that is uh, when you have a uh, full penetration, you're shooting a small critter, um, you're going to go through the whole critter more than likely, and with the segmented ammo, it's much more likely that you're not going to get a weird ricochet or a bullet that goes through and travels a significant distance. Because that bullet is breaking apart into smaller pieces, they're either going to stay in the creature or if they exit, they're going to slow down really fast. They're not going to be aerodynamic at all and they're going to have almost no weight to them and they're just going to kind of disperse and not uh, have the same risk as our mini mags of having that solid slug traveling through the air in some random direction after you hit a critter. And that about wraps it up for me. 
really kind of an interesting um, experiment. I I was expecting to see some differences, but I think we, we saw some pretty, pretty significant differences between the two types of ammo. Um, always neat to see. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.